Hi there and welcome to my seventh tutorial. This tutorial I will show you the sonar and how it's working. A sonar is used to uh, check on uh, ripples in the water and to see what kind of fish is there, how uh, big it is and yeah, just give you uh, some information where to uh, yeah, catch a certain fish. So. I will show you first in store which kind of types of sonar there is. I go to the store. Then you see here on the top side, uh, on the top right side, the word other. Just click on it. Then go in the light blue uh, words to the word sonars. There are two kinds of them. The yellow one is only 2990 and it says here in the lower right, uh, left corner. Uh, it, it detects fish and shows the weight of the fish. Don't bother with this sonar because uh, it only still lets you show you uh, how big the fish is and yeah, that's everything. Uh, the right one, this one is the best. It's also cheap, uh, more expensive, almost $6,000. But very important, it only, not only detects the fish, it shows the weight, but also very, very important shows the type of the fish so you know actually what to use to catch that fish <clears throat> so don't bother with the yellow one just buy the black one if you bought it go to equipment and then from equipment change it from storage to your actually things that you have with you in the equipment bag and then go to free fishing i will go with you to the um, left hand map just to show you how it works. I go there to an empty uh, room. Click on play. And because of the sonar, I found a, a certain type of fish. And I've, I then uh, had to find out which, uh, of which, uh, yeah, on which kind of uh, way I had to uh, catch it. And that was very fun to do. And I just uh, changed all kinds of lures and uh, all kinds of... Uh, bait and then i found the right one and i i caught the fit the fish that i uh, was seeing on the sonar first again always lower down on the right side of the screen the 100 percent to 90. this is the first thing you always have to do whatever you're going to do lower it down because 100 percent your line will break and you will lose every fish very, uh, yeah, the big fish that you will catch so we are now on the map I will show you on the map here where we are. I'm just north of the house. This is the spot where I uh, showed you in uh, last tutorials where to find pike. And the, the, this is the pike spot. And here right of it is the uh, salmon spot. And uh, I, I only caught one salmon, but if you try it more, you will catch many of them here. This is pike, uh, pike spot. And I'll just show you what I found out using the sonar. I go here. Okay, how to use the sonar. Hold the control button, then go to the right to this icon, just click on it. You see here on the bottom the sonar. Just click on the left button on the sonar, it will show up. Hold all the time the control button. Now you can let go the control button, you can move around freely. You see here the circles from the, the water the, or the fish. And now to use the sonar, hold the control button and then click on the water. And you see uh, this uh, icon, that is the spot where I'm checking now with the sonar. Now you can let go of the control button again, just go like here, then hold the control button again and click on the circles in the water. You see, it's a two point uh, yeah, kilogram. Either uh, and also an either. So you see here what kind of fishes there are. Now they'll stick around. Just check here because there is also circles. So they'll stick around here. Just check here on the right side because there were also circles. You can move around, uh, letting go of the control button, and then hold the control button again if you want to check there. Okay, I want to check here because find out last yesterday that there uh, was a fish I want to call, uh, catch here right in front of me. Just want to see if it's there. 
because an either you deficit you so um, I don't know yet how to catch you see here a grass carp grass carp is very uh, good picks hey there are two very good now yesterday I found out so there's also a tutorial a little bit about catching a grass carp um, no, it's enough to uh, what I've shown you uh, I changed my lure to the cherry that I bought the cherry Cherry is on the right side here. Good for carp, Christian carp, bream, silver bream, and the roach. I found out that grass carp is uh, very into cherry. They are like it, uh, like it a lot. So I will probably uh, catch it right away. I'm gonna check again. With the See this is where it is, and now I can just throw right away there. <coughs> okay, there goes the cherry. Let's wait for it, and I think it will, yes, it will strike right away. So you see already on the right side, I'm with my line, that it's a big one. I think it's the, the biggest that I saw. And th this is what I have now, it's uh, a cross card using the sonar uh, to see it. And yesterday I have caught it for the first time using the sonar. You see here, yeah, it's a very nice cross card almost six seven kilograms it sells good gives you a good amount of experience and it's a fun uh, fish to catch so this tutorial is also about the grass carp i will lower down my net a little bit closer because i don't want to miss okay then for use of this tutorial i will check again with the sonar if the other one is still around just keep on holding the control button now can i let go sorry <coughs> Sorry. Um, just when you want to change the spot to uh, check, just click on the, the control button. Keep it, uh, keep it pushed. Because if I now I've let go the control button, if I click now with the left mouse button, you will think, ah, I will check. Hey, there is the other green cross card. If I click now with the left mouse button, the sonar will go. Hey, that's very good. I have two of them, so I have two tries. See, I only throw, and um, that was not what I'm wanting. I wanted to check another spot, but uh, this is uh, now okay. But normally, uh, then you will uh, see that the sonar will go away. Just hold the control button to catch it after you to use it another time. I have to drink something <coughs> of my throat. Sorry for clearing it, but um, I've talked a lot during these days. I've uh, made a, a couple of the tutorials and they will... Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it's okay. I'm just uh, checking if I can catch one of them. There are two grass carps around still. So the sonar is a useful sort of thing. It can... You can check out far away. Uh, I will uh, show you that. I will show it right away because this tutorial is about the sonar. Okay, just hold the control button, click on it, click on the, the sonar, and this is uh, about 90 meters away. And I can get try all the way. Hey, there's a pike underneath that, so you can try with lure. You know, what, what I just, uh, learned you uh, with the other tutorial. It's almost 25 meters. I think 25 is the maximum that I can reach and click. Try to clicking. And it's also that every time you click on it, you see here on the right side the sonar. You see the green circle. There is a little split here. I've lost some. Um, yeah, um, lost some of the how it's made. So I have to repair it one day, but, but I don't see the option repair when I'm uh, checking it in my uh, equipment. So it will go all the way down, I think. All the circle will go all the way uh, down, turning black. And so I have to buy uh, one day a new sonar. I hope they will make it uh, repairable, but at the moment it isn't. So you can click far away. Yesterday I have also uh, made a tutorial about the salmon. I will 
show you there that I can check there with my sonar if the sonar or if the salmon is there available. The sonar is very useful to see if the fish is there already because uh, they will show you uh, if it spawns yes yes or no. Here a salmon almost so there are big ones. There are two already. So I can uh, right away here uh, throw in if I have the right equipment. I will show you. No. <laughs> that is not going good. I had to hold the control button. Control button push. Then on what I'm using I want to change it to a lure. And I have to use the orange lure. It's called the Albino Trout. Albino Trout is, is the Sakura Jackex Shed 5.5. And then also I have to drag it to my bait. Then I turn green, just let go. Lower it down the tension of the line with page down. Check one more time this spot. And then you can throw it a little bit uh, over it. Yes, okay. I will throw now down here, just over it, then reel it in a little bit. And normally I should catch it right away. Yes, there it goes. Okay, going full power on the reel. And this is, uh, like, uh, like I showed you, um, almost uh, more than 10 kilograms the one I'm having every now on the line <laughs> so you see your sonar is very useful you have to take a little bit of time you have to get used to it because it's not so easy to uh, to get it out right away remember that you have holding you need to hold the control button see this is a nice salmon it gives a huge amount of money in the net Yes, you look at it, it's almost uh, half full right away. Just check again with the sonar. You don't have to check, but I, uh, I like to show it to you. Here is an ASP. I don't know how to catch the ASP yet. I'm only checking for the other uh, salmon. Yes, there it is. Okay, just throw over it. There it goes. Lower down the power fast six times, then reel it in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it's fast. I didn't go fast enough. Normally, I've lowered it down uh, six times with page down already before I throw it in. Let me just check again. There is a salmon, and it will pick up my lure if it's seeing it. Just stick on. The, yes, there it goes. <laughs> that isn't. This isn't the salmon, and I see. It. I know that because here on the right side you see the line. It's all the way down there. It's a perch, and I don't like perches. Uh, early on, I like them, uh, but I don't like perches when I'm going for salmon. They have to. Uh, I don't even throw it in my landing net, and they will uh, just. Uh, uh, they're in the spot of the salmon. I might only have salmon in this case, or a pike, or a grass carp. The big fish. Okay, I just check another time with the sonar. Just want to be sure where it is. Just throw over it. Okay, and now it's the asp. Maybe a little bit on the right. Just wait. Also, uh, ASP. <laughs> Maybe on the left side. Yes, there it is. Okay, there. Yeah, a little bit on the left. So. Come on, boy. Come on. Pick up my lure. Want to have you in my net? 
They sell so good. Salmon is the best uh, fish I've caught yet. Yes, this is this, this isn't. This is the one. Okay, full power. Salmon gives the most money. More than pike, more than grass carp, more than every fish I've caught uh, so far: trout, bass, roach, perch. And this is a oh, it's a nice one. Not so big. Uh, they can uh, go all the way to 13 kilograms here. Okay. Okay, I will show you. I'll just go now. I will show you uh, how much they give. Because uh, in the tutorial I've made specially for the for the salmon, I had only one to show. I have now two to show. It's the cross carp. It goes with. Uh, you see, totally good amount. They go for 145. Yeah. You see, it's the big one. It's almost thousand, so not, uh, 800. So this is very good. This is uh, the half one, so they go very good. So thank you for watching again, and I hope you enjoyed it. Just uh, save enough money to buy the uh, the, the best uh, sonar equipment and use it. And oh yeah, uh, I want to show you that the, the sonar in my equipment because, like I said, there are no option to fix it you see there's a little bit space here in the circle normally if you uh, use something like the float I will show you the float this is the float that I'm using you see here the wrench if you click on the wrench uh, do you want to repair this item yes it's only six uh, coins then it's totally fixed again the circle is r good again if I go to the uh, sonar you see here the little uh, yeah little stripe stripe it's uh, broken for a little, little bit. Um, you see also here the durability is 2000. So every time I'm using it, it's not every time, but sometimes I see it goes down with one point. And I do, uh, I'm using it for 10 times and then it goes uh, down for one point. I'm not sure where, how many times to use it for going down one point, but it has to go down all the way 2000 points. So in this green circle are 2000 points. At the moment there are about four, uh, four less. So just, uh, yeah, I hope they will, uh, they will also make it available, but in this case it's not. Just use it and get spare money for it if it's almost going down all the way so i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up thank you very much for watching and i enjoy your day bye bye